think you were trip mining to my wall, man. Oh, just the start. Let's go. What's up, guys? Ventus here, and today we are back with some more Crucible gameplay. This time in Iron Banner Eruption, where we are running a one-shot Strand Titan build. Now, before I go over the weapon and armor combination of choice, let's jump into Berserker Titan itself. Go over the abilities that we're running. First being the super ability Blade Fury with the Towering Barricade, Strafe Lift, Frenzied Blade, and Shackle Nades. I'll go over why we're using Shackle Nades over Grapple in just a moment. So moving on to the aspects, we have Baron of War up first, which defeating a target with a melee attack, finisher, or sword raises the Banner of War, sending out periodic healing pulses to my allies and me, and increasing melee and sword damage. Targets defeated by either my allies nearby or me, Charge the banner up to times 4, increasing the speed of the healing pulses. I believe you get a 10 to 15 second timer to refresh it, but I didn't really go after melee kills as much unless I was in super. For our second and most important aspect, Dredging Lash, activating your class ability creates a ripple in reality that travels along the ground, suspending targets and damaging them upon being hit. Moving on to the four fragments, we have Thought of Ascent, activating your grenade ability reloads your equipped weapon. Grants bonus airborne effectiveness and handling for a short duration, giving you a plus 10 mobility substat. Our second fragment, Threat of Evolution. Threatlings travel further and deal additional damage with a plus 10 intellect substat. As you can tell, there isn't any Threadlings so far in the subclass. There aren't really any in the build, but the current exotic weapon I'm using does have a Threadling slash Hatchling refit, so I might come back and put that fragment to use. For our third fragment, we have Threat of Binding. Super final blows emit a suspending burst target, giving you plus 10 resilience. Now, this is good if either you're a titan and you miss the heavy attack from Berserker, which can suspend, or you just pop around the corner, go into a room, and start punching people. Proc Banner of War, they're shooting you at primaries. Hopefully, Banner of War will eat that for you. But if you get a kill and suspend, Hope that they don't have a shotgun or a fusion rifle because that's where things can get a little dicey. Now for the fourth and final fragment, we have Threat of Finality, which finisher final blows create Threadlings. Now you can't do finishers in the Crucible, but the plus 10 recovery substat is pretty good if you are lacking in recovery like I am. Now moving on to the exotic armor of choice, we have the Abeyant Leaps, which I've never used these before and I know they released in Lightfall, but... Up until now, I haven't looked at their perk, but I saw what they could do, I knew I had to use them. Which, Puppeteer's Control is its exotic perk, which allows Dredge and Lash to spawn two more additional projectiles, adding up to three coming out of this towering wall, which track more aggressively and travel further. And upon suspending targets, gain Woven Mail, which, put the icing on the cake, I had to use this season's exotic, Wish Keeper, with the Silkbound Slayer trait. This weapon deals bonus damage to suspending target to suspended targets, gain faster draw time from a short duration when you suspend a target from any source, or damage the suspended target with the weapon. Now you can kind of see where this all pieces together. I would turn a corner, pop my wall, suspend, peek out, get a kill, or one shot them pretty much because they're suspended. Then I go behind my wall. If somebody's rushing me, I would throw out my shackle nade, hope I kill hit them with it. Get the kill and or i would throw my shackle nade suspend relocate something along that line now intrinsic trait wise it does go to snare weaver 4 but the quest has to finish but precision hits and final blows build energy towards a snare weaver arrow that can be fired from the hip precision final blows give you four precision hits give you three out of six stacks oh no precision hits give you one out of six and final blows give you three out of six so you get a precision final blow that's four out of six you get another kill that's six out of six or two more headshots you get six out of six and you can fire the arrow from the hip which on impact the arrow creates a pattern of traps that suspend nearby targets so you could throw this into choke points on your flank if somebody likes to flank on the enemy team or just throw it into a point where you think somebody's going to relocate to or end up at some point I have the Snare Weaver or the Enduring Snare refit, which makes the Snare Weaver traps last longer. I found that to be more useful. I've yet to unlock the other ones, but there is Vorpal Weapon and another perk alongside the Hatchlings. But I think best case, this is 
the refit you want. Moving on to the secondaries I use. I use Matador and Beloved. I tried to use Igneous with this, but I didn't really like the feel of it. Um, I did have quick access sling. It just didn't feel right for me. So I stuck with a Sniper Matador. Moving on to the armor itself. I am very much resilience, discipline, and intellect focused to get my grenades back faster and have my wall back faster. This is mainly because I did have this for an arc build, but I've switched up things here and there. For mods, I have strand targeting, strand loader, unflinching strand, pretty much anything that uh, made the bow feel good because starting off, it was a little rough getting used to the play style. So I mainly use pulse rifles, auto rifles, hand cannon, shotgun, crucible. It was just different to use a bow pretty much. So once I got the hang of it, it was a pretty fun build to run. I also have fastball and utility kickstart. So that I could get my wall back faster and also throw the shackle nade further. But if you like the content and you continue to come by the channel, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment down below, share the video with people. It helps out the channel, it helps out the video. I hope you all enjoy the content. I feel like Rally Barrack is just not the way to go. Uh, I still use Tower. Yeah, it's like I want it. The pull down to be quicker, but it's not worth it. Girl, man. Two down, keep it up. Please text her. More. I'm sorry, hearing shacks in my ear go more. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Get the fuck out of my ear, you freak. <laughs> Smell bro's breath through the mic. I don't need that motherfucker in my ear like that. One I'm actually minute. using Victory voice within your ground. Inspiring. Protect each other and prevail. Teammate primed. <laughs> Did you have to do slave damage for it to get each like a shield? You do. I didn't know that. Yes, again. One falls, another must rise. Five minutes left. So They're sitting all on the bottom left side, Tyler. Yes, they are. No, he's oh, I got him still. I, yeah, I body shot him with the bow. But fucking big old load. Just the start. Oh, Tyler, I don't know what happened. I just one shot this dude with uh, the bow. Imagine losing your own bubble. That's Dang. crazy. What is that from? Ah! This is so dumb. Just the start. 
Yeah. I just use that solar grenade as a flashbang. I have to give him respect for that. I've been playing a bunch of CS. I almost looked away. Shit, they were trip mine into my wall, man. Five. Just the start. Let's go. That's the starter clip of the video right there. <laughs> Again. Again.
They thought they had. Leave the pack. Five minutes left. Sound tactics. An ally carved a path for you. I'm calling it. Guardian. Crush them. Your ally. 